Next block is K6, and K6 has been modified. So we're going to go to the little booklet, and the booklet shows that this border on the outside has been taken away. So we're just dealing with this whole section. And you have um, your, your coloration. You've got background in the center, and then focus fabric surrounding this. And this is also focus fabric with background triangles. So I have my pieces all laid out. And here's what we got. I have a slightly directional fabric on my pieces, so I have indicated that I wanted my directions to radiate out from the center. So I've marked that here. My basting, I'm going to baste the little short sides first and then the long sides of each one of these bars. And then on these, I'm going to baste the two legs and then the hypotenuse, making my tags going away. This one, I'm going to base the hypotenuse first and then the legs to make the tags go towards the outside. The square, I'm going to baste opposite sides and then opposite sides. For the assembly of this block, I'm going to put my three bar sections together, but I'm going to refer to this booklet here. So for assembly, you're going to treat it like an on-point quilt. So you're going to put it together in rows like this. So I'm going to attach all of these to each other, treating these as one rectangle. And then I'm going to attach this triangle to this piece. And once I have this unit assembled, I'm going to put these two triangles on either side. Then I'm going to form this row. I'm going to form, put, put these three together, then put this on, put this to that, these three together, put this on. So you treat this like another row. And then this is your other unit, the same way you did this. Put these three together, put this on the end, and then put this. And then you can put all three of these rows together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get together and I'm going to base my three bar units to get them for, ready for assembly. So I basted one of my little units of three bars. And I'm going to put these together one at a time so I can guarantee that I have them going the right way. So this is going this way. So I'm going to put these together and then sew this on like that. So I got my first three bar unit connected with the little arrow on the end. So now I'm going to baste my large triangles and connect them to this unit thus forming this whole section of that block. So now I've attached both of these larger triangles to this, this, uh, the bar section. My next step is to set this aside and work on assembly of this center row. These three put into one unit, these three put into one unit, and then capped off with the points and connected with the square. So I've basted these three bars and I'm going to uh, connect them and make sure that they stay in the correct direction. And I've basted my middle square and my outer triangle. So I'm going to assemble this unit before I go to base this and assemble that. So I've assembled this entire unit with, to the center square and now I'm going to put this together and then assemble it to the center square, making this entire row. So now this upper section is all complete and I'm gonna connect it to this and that will form the entire row that will then connect to this piece. So I've attached these two sections together and I just wanted to make a note here if you see this, this part is sticking up. What I did is I taped my edge, or I taped my pieces here and here, and I lined up the edge to do that. So um, I lined up my edges and taped it, and then I lined up this edge, taped it, because I'm gonna be able to suck up some of the um, excess here in these openings. So I'm gonna take my stitches, and I'm gonna stitch from here to pull to here and a little X and then across here to here and this is gonna this is gonna squeeze this tighter and minimize this growth that happens naturally when you put fabric on pieces of paper so I'm gonna stitch to about here 
tie off and then start here and work my way all the way back to where I tied off and then I'll have these two sections attached. So now I've got all these connected. I got that seam done. So the next thing I'm going to do is get this unit assembled and then I can base these big triangles and connect this into a unit that I can then attach to this block. So I've got this section put together and now I've basted these outside triangles and I'm going to connect these to the center. So now I've got this last corner all assembled and all I have left to do is take this and attach it to the rest of the block. I'm going to have that same bunching that occurs here, but I'll be able to take up the excess by doing the, uh, the X stitch thing that sucks up some of that spacing. So I finished attaching this seam and flipping it over, I now have a completed K6 block.